Hello, so this is my party in the SEA video. I'm just going to be explaining how the tournament works, um, what the current rule set is. It's subject to change still because the event is still two weeks away. I have not finalized anything yet, but the point system is mostly finalized. The prizes is mostly finalized and eligible countries are not going to change unless, you know, someone DMs me and asks me to add their country for whatever reason. Um, most of it is set in stone, but there might be a few changes before the date. So don't expect everything to stay the same. That's all I'm saying. Um, so Party in the SEA is basically a SSBM tournament for Southeast Asia. And it's got like Mario Party vibes. There's some like ways, like there's a point system basically. It's kind of like the SWT. Um, I got most of my point system ideas from the SWT and then just changed it a little bit. Um, basically the SWT, like, um, you get points and then you go to a final event with, which you have to qualify for based on your points and the final event is where you get the prizes. And that's, that's how this event works too. You know, there's no prizes until the final event. So let's just get on with it. Uh, this is the first tournament in a four part series hosted by Yetis Exist. The series uses points based, uses a points based system displayed below to reward players over time. We expect all players to use the discord for communicating with opponents rather than the start GG chat function. All matches will be played using Slippy and that, and the rules are listed here. So this is basically just a rule, rule page thing, rule Google doc. Um, it just tells you like, you know, four stocks, handicap off, friendly fire on and blah, 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 blah start off. It's just the standard rules for any tournament, really. Um, it's going to be Stadium is a starter and FD is a counter pick for this tournament. This is the SEA Discord. So if you're interested in the event, join the SEA Discord if you're in Southeast Asia. Only these countries, only these countries are allowed. You have to be in these countries to participate. Uh, and this is the point system. So, for example, the first party in the SEA, the A, basically, party in the SEA A, it starts in February 11, 2023 at 1 p.m. Philippine time or Singapore time. Um, the first place gets 600 points. Second place gets 475. Third place gets 325. Fourth place gets 200. Fifth place gets 100. And seventh place gets 20 points. It is exactly the same for B. Um, but then C has slightly less points given. Uh, I don't... I was going to do something special with C, which is why I made it have less points, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that anymore. So just stay tuned and wait for the update. I will, I'll let you guys know whether or not C, party in the C, party in the SEAC has uh, the same point system or not. It might be slightly lower or slightly more depending on whatever. But anyway, qualifications, the four players with the most points that attended at least two events so two of a b and c will qualify for the finals and then there will be a spin the wheel at the end of each event excluding the finals two random players between fifth and eighth place on the leaderboards will spin the wheel once so this is based on your points so if your your if your point is like your points total lands you in fifth to eighth place you have a chance to get a spin the wheel it's kind of like a catch-up mechanic so some of the outcomes are gain 100 points or make all other players lose 50 points. Very simple. Pick another player. Both of you loses 50 points. Uh, wager 150 points with someone who plays the same or above you and play versus them immediately. Uh, make another player start as the bottom seed in the next event. Make the next event give 50 more points to the top four placers. The next bracket starts as a round robin instead. Give 100 points to another player that already has points or become immune to negative effects next event. So yeah, that's that bonus points. So if you, I might add another type of bonus point, but if you drop one or less games in an entire event, you get a hundred points. That's pretty hard. You only have to drop two games to lose the chance to get this bonus point. And the other one is four stocking another player gives you 50 points. Yeah, the balance, the numbers here are not that good yet. I think 50, is, 50 or hundred is fair for this one, but because, um, I don't want it to affect the actual point system too much. I just want it to be like a little bonus thing that you get. But yeah, these are not finalized yet. These are still just like, I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do this. Um, this, sam this is a sample pr prize, but it's not finalized. And this is for the finals only. Um, I'm probably going to pay out top three. I'm not sure if I'm paying out the fourth person because they're getting effectively last place in the finals. Um, but 
I'm gonna try and get do something like this. The highest placing player will receive a Metafire lesson with any instructor of their choice with up to fifty dollars. Second place will receive fifty uh, twenty five dollars, and third place will receive fifteen dollars. Something like that. It's probably gonna stay like that. I d the numbers might change, but I definitely want a Metafire session for first place, and then um like significantly lower prizes for second and third and fourth if i pay out fourth but that's basically what that is uh the connection rules we're only allowing ethernet but there are some cases where some players are are on wi-fi but they have really good connection so those people can dm me so for example there's two players off the top of my head who have really good connection despite being on wi-fi like it's almost perfectly stable or pretty much perfectly stable and that is sync and uh, a random name both filipino players um so if a player has a connection issue, the Wi-Fi player will automatically be dequeued. If both players are on Wi-Fi or both are using Ethernet, then they'll do a connection test with their next opponent. Oh, sorry, I just burped. Uh, and the player with the higher ping will be dequeued. Uh, contact me on this Discord if you have any questions and DM me. But that's it. Yeah. Um, sign up as soon as possible. This is going to be a cool event. Probably the first one like it ever. It's kind of got Mario Party vibes, as I said earlier. Um, because of the bonus points and the spin the wheel part at the end of each event but um yeah i think this will be a really cool event uh so hope to see you guys there quick video only uh explaining the format and yeah see you guys